Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another video for you guys today. I have a little bit of sad news for you guys. Um, I just found out by going on my Facebook and Twitter and things that horror icon, legend, Gunnar Hansen has passed away at the age of 68 uh, due to pancreatic cancer. And uh, I just wanted to come by and, you know, sh share my share some memories, you know, about the man himself because I, I used to go to horror conventions, or I still do until you know to this day and I, I had a chance to meet him a couple of times and you guys all know him he's the star of movies like mosquito uh, you know Hollywood chainsaw hookers but everyone knows him mainly because the Texas Chainsaw Massacre he was the original Leatherface and Toby Hooper's classic Texas Chainsaw Massacre and uh, I was like I said I was lucky to lucky enough to meet the guy a handful of times at conventions and things I even had him uh, sign my original DVD uh, that came out, the old Pioneer uh, DVD that came out back in, what, what the hell year was it? I th I can't, I'm trying to look on the back here, 1998. Um, it's, it's also signed by um, uh, Toby Hooper himself and the late great Marilyn Burns. You know, I'm, this is one of, probably one of my prized possessions I have in my collection here, you know, when, when it comes to like, you know, signed memor memorabilia. And guys, look at this, man. This is like an up-close look of, of the DVD here. I still have the receipt of buying this DVD back in 2002 at Suncoast over at the Northridge Mall. And look how much I paid for this DVD. $29.99. That's how much like this thing was going for, you know, back in the day when I actually went out and bought this thing. That is crazy. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this video to come by to share, you know, a memory I have, you know, of meeting him since I've been going to these conventions for years. I had, a, a, you know, a chance to meet him a handful of times and things like that. And, uh, you know, because he's always been a real sincere, super nice person. Like, you you can, you would never imagine in a million years, like, if you've never met him before, that he was in a, you know, 1974 classic playing this, you know, crazy super killer going around killing everybody. Like, you would never, you know, picture him. Him being that kind of person, you know, in a movie or anything like that, because he's just a super nice guy. And uh, I just, like I said, I wanted to come by here to share a memory with you um, because I had a chance uh, to interview the man uh, back in 2008 uh, when I was trying to like really grow my YouTube channel by doing a couple of different little things, by going to conventions and interviewing a couple of celebrities and things. And he was actually the very first celebrity I was able to interview, you know, back in 2007 for anything. Like he was the very first interview I've ever done in my entire life and, and, and you know and stuff like that and uh, I just wanted to share the memory I have of, of meeting him for the very first time because going to one of my very first conventions I think it was called uh, the uh, it's called uh Fangoria's Weekend of Horror back in 2007 or 8 or whatever it was at the LA Convention Center and I was going there making an old school YouTube video like like I would do I'll, I'll link that whole video I did uh, in the description box below if you want to see the full inter you know the full um, you know the full video with other interviews I did with like Brian O'Halloran from Clerks and uh, it was called uh, Clue um, you know uh, John Gulliger uh, the director of Feast and stuff like that I'll leave that this original video down in the description box if you guys want to see that one but like I Gunnar Hansen was the very first person I went up to at this at this convention because I'm like I was I was like a super fan and I wanted to get my DVD signed by him and stuff. I went up there. I'm like Gunnar, man, I'm a big fan of yours. I love you know Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. It was like the first movie that really scared the shit out of me. You know when I was a kid, like that one and like Nightmare on Elm Street four because that one always kind of freaked me out when I was young because I saw it when I was you know too young to watch a movie like that to be honest and like I went up there like a super fan talking to him for like 10-15 minutes and I'm going I'm, I, I want to ask I, I want to see if I can you know ask him a couple of questions on video but I'm really scared because back then I was kind of like a super shut in my my personality I didn't really come out of my shell yet I was really still kind of weird and awkward like if you watch my old YouTube videos like my very first DVD update and then watch my new DVD update I shot the other day it's like a, it's like a completely different person you know what I mean like I'll leave a link down below too to my very first blu-ray dvd update i did i forgot when it was like 2006 2007 something like that i'll have that down below too if you guys want to see that because i was just really weird and awkward i'm still weird and awkward now that's just me but like you can see the real difference between me then and me now and like when i was at the convention like i was going around i'm like how am i gonna spice this video up i, I want to ask a couple of these celebrities some questions and things but i didn't have anything planned or anything like that and i was going up to gunner hansen i'm like there's no way in, there's no way in fuck he's gonna say yes to me right 
right now. You know what I mean? Like I went up there, guys autograph, talked to him about how much I liked his work and everything like that. I'm like, Gunner, is it cool if I ask you a couple of questions, you know, on, on my for my YouTube thing? He's like, Yeah, sure, man. And I'm like, oh shit, like in my head, I'm like, oh my god, like I have nothing planned. I have no idea what the hell to even ask the guy. Like I was just like kind of like all scared and shaky and shit. And then so I, I sat down next to him, I gave the camera to a like a, a you know a fan that's walking by the convention to hold it so we can like you know so I can film this interview and things. I sat down next to him, right across away in my vision is uh, Kane Hodder, you know, the you know, not the original, but the awesome Jason Voorhees from like, you know, part seven, eight, nine, blah blah blah, and, and so on. Well not 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 and so on, because he's not Jason anymore, but like the you know the icon himself, you know, Kane Hodder, right across the way in my vision, as I'm sitting down to sitting down next to the original text, you know, the leather face and everything. So I'm sitting there. I'm, we're about to start our interview. I'm about to start the interview and ask him a couple things, which I have nothing to. I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna say until it comes out of my mouth. That's how I am now. Even when I go to these conventions today, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna say until I say it. But like, I sat down next to Gunnar Hansen to get ready for this interview. I'm like, holy shit, this is awesome. I'm next to a horror legend. Ah! Like you know, like I was geeking out and everything like that. I'm like, holy shit, he's actually you know touching my shoulder. We're hanging out. We're talking and stuff. And uh, I sit there. We start to we hit record. You know, on the camera, and I go. Uh, hey guys, Brendan Mitchell here. I'm sitting here with, you know, Kane Hodder, the original Leatherface. And he's like, uh, I'm not Kane Hodder. I'm like, oh shit. Like, I, I know he's not Kane Hodder. I was just talking, you know, I know him from the movie and I talked to him for like 15, 20 minutes. I, he knows I know who he is. But I called him fucking Kane Hodder. And he's like, I was like, Mike, is that okay if, you know, we start this interview again? Is that cool, real quick? He's like, yeah, that's fine. No worries, my friend. Like, he didn't care. You know what I mean? And then I start the interview again and I fucking call him Kane Hodder. You know, I call him Kane Hodder for two, two fucking times in a row. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. What the fuck is wrong with me? All because Kane Hodder is in my vision right across the fucking way. You know, right there as I'm like talking to the legend right here I see fucking Kane Harder right there staring at me like I'm some sort of fucking idiot and I feel, I'm feeling like a super fucking idiot but Gunnar Hampton is not making me feel that way whatsoever you know what I mean and so like I start the interview for the third time and then I call him his right name and you know we go on from there but like it was just like a weird fucking so embarrassing moment I just want I just want to share with you guys today you know what I mean like like I, I have the, I still have the video interview which I'm going to share with you guys at the end of at the end of the uh, this video right here so you guys can see how awkward the fucking thing how awkward the interview was sad sad to say of course like cut out the footage of me calling him you know Kane Hodder in there because I'm like I, I want to cut this this is back I'm like I don't want anybody to see this I don't want anybody to know about this the only person that knew that I called him that was you know cool dude or Sean over here because I was talking to I talked to him on the phone all the time you know ever since you know I remember just back in the day kind of stuff and like he's like oh my god that's that's super embarrassing dude and like I cut it out never used you know and of course never used it but like like, it was just like, a, a, you know, a memory I wanted to share with you guys because he didn't make me feel like I was an asshole. I felt like a, like a dumb, stupid, retarded asshole, you know, fucking saying that thing t twice in a fucking row. You know what I mean? Because he was the very first celebrity I had a chance to interview. I was weird. I'm awkward. And I, I still, you know, I didn't even know what I was... You know, how to, you know, conduct an interview whatsoever. Or like, have a little conversation, you know, with a person. I sort of asked questions. And that was it. You know what I mean? It was like it's like a weird, awkward interview. And I want to share this little, you know, this interview with you that I that I did with Mr. Gunnar Hansen in memory of the passing, you know, of the horror icon, horror legend uh, himself. Um, so guys, uh, check out the little interview I did with Gunnar Hansen. And keep in mind, uh, I had to start the interview twice because I called him Kane Harder, like some stupid ass idiot. But rest in peace, Gunnar Hansen. You were a super kind gentleman, and you didn't make me feel like I was some moron, even though I know I was. And rest in peace, my friend. Hey, movie fans, Brendan Mitchell here again, and I'm sitting here with Gunnar Hansen, the original Leatherface. So, Gunnar, what is your favorite horror movie of all time? Uh, the original, The Haunting, uh, the one from I think '61. Uh, what is the first movie that ever really scared you? Frankenstein. Frankenstein? So I was a kid. I uh, lived in a very small town that had, the next town over had a second run theater and they were always you know, just played old movies. And I went to the movies and saw Frankenstein. And it absolutely terrific. So how long have you been doing conventions? I, my first convention was in uh, January of... Uh, 88? So 20 years, yeah. It was, it was a Fango show, just like this. Fango and... <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, look, Kane Hodder's over there. Oh, I know. 
How you doing, Kane? Yeah, he's such a charming, lovely guy. And you know what's funny about Kane? What? I was upstairs at Starbucks and I saw him ordering a mocha frappuccino with extra mocha. Extra I, mocha? I, I would have never thought in a million years I would have ever seen a horror icon like him ordering a, you know, a frappuccino. A frappuccino. <laughs> Only Kane Otter. No, I know, right?